let me tell y'all how this all started between me and my husband. We met at the University of Tennessee while he was stalking me. <laughs> he was so tickled with me. Okay, he was getting an MBA. I was get, finishing up my undergraduate. He is so smart and such an overachiever that he had already gotten an undergraduate, worked for two years, and got an MBA. I was just finishing mine up, my undergraduate, because I'm so fun. And um, I thought, oh my gosh, he is so smart. He can do math. He can, he can reconcile a checkbook. There's no telling where we're going to go, what we're going to see, what we're going to, how we're going to live. Well, we graduated and he decided to buy a used mobile home business in Bean Station, Tennessee. And I know y'all don't know where, Bean Station is in the foothills of the Appalachia Mountains. Did any of y'all ever see Deliverance? <laughs> I think they filmed that there. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful lakes and pretty and all that. But so he moved me there and he wanted me to be in sales for him at this used mobile home business. So I did that day <laughs> until I saw a family drive up in a gremlin with the window out and a nine year old smoking a cigarette. <laughs> that's the truth. She lit it off of her memo. And that's her grandmother. Do I need an interpreter? Okay. She lit it off her grandmama. And so I quit that day and I went home and I got pregnant that night. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I had three babies in four and a half years. Yeah, it hurt. Um, <laughs> It did. I was pregnant and or breastfeeding for six straight years in the foothills of the Appalachia Mountains. Um, and let me tell y'all, when I found out about my third baby, I feel terrible how I reacted, but I was so overwhelmed and so tired. But I knew that day I didn't feel right. I thought, what is wrong with me? I'm tired and I kind of feel sick. And I thought, oh my gosh, surely I'm not pregnant this quick after this, you know, because my girls were 20 months apart. So I had to know, I was crazy. I drove to the Walmart in the foothills of the Appalachia Mountains, and I took my two babies with me, and the diaper bag and all that stuff you take with you, and I went into the Walmart and bought an EPT pregnancy test. I took it in the stall, and I tinkled on it. And my three-year-old boy looked at me and said, what, is it positive? And it was. And I drove home just as fast as I could, and I called my husband at work, and I said, you're trying to kill me, aren't you? <laughs> well, you're not going to, because I'm gonna walk out in the woods and let the animals eat me. <laughs> but y'all little mamas probably know what I'm talking about. It's so overwhelming. We would be in the grocery store, and my three-year-old little boy, mm, so yummy, so sweet, would be in Superman panties with doo-doo balls falling out at the grocery store. I think, oh my gosh, did anybody see that? I don't have anything in my purse to pick it up with. Is some little child gonna think it's a milk dud? Just keep on moving, everybody. Just keep on moving. Oh, me. All right. Now they are grown. And I cannot believe it. It just flew by. My boy is 24 years old, and he is married. He got out of college. He met his college sweetheart his freshman year. He, never, he said he would never marry young, but he did. And he brought her home. And I, all right, who in here has had boys and girls? Can you clap? <laughs> who do you think, okay, who do you think's easier to raise? I mean, just yell it out, boys or girls? Boys. boys. Boys, every once in a while, a little frail woman will yell, girl. 
and she's probably being threatened. But anyway, <laughs> no. <laughs> 